Well, hey y'all, it's harvest time. That's right, so go on and meet me back at the farm. Look at you, you made it back to the farm. Whew, kind of tired, guys. You know what? Farming takes a lot of work. It's really exhausting. I don't know if I'm cut out for all of this farming work. But you know what? As farmers know that when harvest day comes around, it is worth all of the effort, time, and love that they put in to the farming. And it makes me think of our relationship with Jesus. Yeah, you know, we have to put in the work too. No one ever said that following Christ was gonna be easy. I know, right? There's challenges and things that we have to overcome in our relationship with Jesus. But just like farming, it is so worth the reward. That's right, it's worth it. And you know what our reward is? It is an eternity with Jesus in heaven. What? That's like the biggest reward ever. And you know, talking about all this seeds and the farming and the growing, it's making me think of a really good Bible story, actually. You know, let me put these aside. They're getting kind of heavy. A great story that Jesus told, which is a parable. Why don't we actually take a look at that right now? Do you guys want to do that? Yeah. I was actually getting a little hungry, so let's check out the Bible story. Ah, check it out. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the farmer. This is Jesus. Hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah? Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, 
but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Wow, wasn't that a great story? See, farming, it's biblical. And what Jesus was trying to say in the story is that the seeds that the farmer threw out actually represent God's word, his truth. And not everyone that receives God's word or hears his message is going to receive it or even want to take it into their life and put action to that. And you know what? Let's actually get a little bit closer and explore more of our story, okay? We saw in our story all the different places the seeds fell. For example, the path where the seed was pretty much instantly lost, like right away. Then we had the rocky ground where it first appeared there would be growth, but the soil was so bad that the seed had no success. A lot like people who get excited about hearing God's message, but don't really commit or take action. Then we have the seed that fell on the thorns. The thorns choked out and killed the seed. A lot like people who hear the message that God has, but are more concerned with other things and don't care at all about that message. Then lastly, the good soil. Yes, the good soil where the seeds were planted and they grew. That good soil represents the people who hear God's word and they receive it and they commit to him and they live it out. When they do that, they produce those good fruits that we learned all about and become part of God's great harvest. Now I'm going to throw some seeds out at you. Wait, actually, I've been throwing seeds at you this entire series telling you all about God's truth. Big question, what kind of soil are you gonna be? Oh, that's a thinker. Now that you've learned all about Jesus and his truth and what he does in our life, how are you going to respond? Are you gonna take action and truly follow him, commit to Jesus? Well, right now, I want to give you the opportunity to make him Lord of your life, okay, where he can come into your heart, forgive you of your sin, and you can truly start a relationship with Jesus that will only grow from here. Now, if that's you and you're ready to do that, I want you on the count of three, okay? Three, all right? Raise your hand, put it high in the sky, and this is just you showing that you are ready to make that decision, okay? Now, here we go. One, two, three. Put your hand up. Oh, awesome. Way to go. Now that you've raised your hand, you are ready to say the prayer. Okay, here we go. You're gonna repeat after me. Remember, you're talking to God. Put power in your words. Really mean it, okay? Here we go. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, I love you and I thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me. I believe in my heart and say with my mouth, you are my Lord. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin and to help me grow strong in my faith. We pray all of this in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And wow, guys, this series has been so much fun talking all about seeds and farming and all this stuff. It's been a great one. Well, I am so glad that you joined me and I hope that you really put action into your faith and I can't wait to see how your relationship with God really grows. 
Well, that's it for me, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.